Where are the others? I am here. Hey. Okay. Hello. Kamusta, kamusta? Sino ba nandito ngayon? Hi, Ati Jackie. Hi. Did you study your uh, homework? Wait, we had homework? Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> You're going to read something about the Bahaghari. Oh, I think you can get it. I just need to move my Yeah. I'm just going to read it. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of things to discuss today, so we just, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, just to say hello to everyone, okay? How's everything doing? Huh? Yes, what's your question, Ito? Can I go to the bathroom? Okay, hurry up, go to the bathroom. If you're going to the bathroom, just go to the bathroom, okay? Because we have a lot of uh, uh, things to discuss today, and I'm going to uh, give you a new uh, lesson other than uh, reading, okay? So we're just going to uh, have a quick review with, regarding with the lesson that we discussed yesterday, and I hope you get a chance to uh, review those, okay? Sana lahat kayo na kapagbasa ng Tagalog kasi mahalaga yun. Tama? Right? So, sino ang nandito ngayon? Sabi seven participants. So, actually six. Nandito si Ito. Nandito si... Oh, I cannot read your name. Could you please... Uh, who are those uh, writing and characters? Could you please write your uh, real I name? Like, I feel like that's Ariel. Ariel, and uh, is that you, Fiona? Come on, guys. Or else I'm going to boot you out in this uh, Zoom class. I wrote my name. No, it's, it's not correctly written, okay? So that other people can recognize you guys. Okay, who's this uh, reconnecting? Okay, I got Ito, Ati Fiona, Ati Ariel, uh, Dalton, Ati Jackie, Ati Jasmine. Okay, are we all set and complete? Okay, so have a good afternoon everyone and today is Thursday and what is Thursday means? Thursday is our last day for this week and we don't know yet if we're going to have next week because some of you are going to start school and some of you have a schedule maybe they're going to do. But I'm going to give you an announcement uh, before the end of this week, what will be our schedule for next week, okay? So in, in my case, I'm going to have a, uh, a training next uh, week starting in the morning and up to uh, in the afternoon. So I don't know how I'm going to uh, juggle our schedule, but definitely we're going to have a class but just wait for the announcement, okay? So, anyway, uh, how many of you get the chance to review our homework? Anybody? Did you read your uh, Bahaghari? How many uh, stanza we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six stanzas. Okay, good. So maybe I'm just going to ask a few of you guys to read and then uh, uh, call this and then we're going to go ahead with our lesson, okay? Are you all ready? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. So all together we have six students in this uh, Zoom class, okay? So what I want from you guys is to pay attention and listen to my instruction, okay? So I'm going to share my screen and I want you to pay attention. Okay, this is the lesson that I want to 
share with you guys. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is uh, review our lesson from yesterday. Okay. Let me just scroll this up first. Okay. So remember we discussed this one and some of you uh, don't know or recognize yet the parts of the body. And I want you to look at it, okay? And then try to review once more. Because this is a very basic uh, skill that you should know, the parts of your body, okay? And I know you know and I can able to identify parts of your body in English. But I want you to remember or memorize this as well, okay? Pay attention, this is your ulo, okay? That's your head. This is your leg, which is number two, leg. Your siko is your elbow. Your hita is your thigh. Tuhod is your knee. Binti is your calves. Paa is your foot. Braso is your forearm, okay? And then your bisig is your hand, the whole hand, okay? the whole hand and then your kamai is hand and then your uh, fingers we call that the liri and then kilikili is your armpit your uh, chest is your dibdib your tian is your tummy or your uh, abdomen okay and then bukong bukong is your ankle and then the liri nampa is your toes okay your toes. Okay, who knows every everything? Oh, Dalton said he knows that. Okay. Okay, guys. As much as possible, I don't want you to write on the uh, on the chat because I'll not be able to uh, what to call this to monitor you because I don't have any partner right here to uh, to check each uh, uh, comment that you're putting in the chat room because. It's kind of like it distracted me because every time you type something, it, it, it lit into orange. So I don't know what's going on. So if you have a question, I'd like you to uh, uh, just do the, the raised hand like this or just wave at me and I'll get back to you, okay? So just be cautious about that one. Just wave if you have a question. Okay, is that clear? Thumbs up? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's review this one. I hope you, you follow along with this one. Anybody can uh, give me? Okay. Dalton, where are you? I'm here. Okay. Could you please tell me what is number one? Ulo head. Uh, number three. Number three is Balika. Okay, number seven. Seven is B B B C. Okay, number nine. Nine is. The al, the ali, the liri, the lili. Okay. Um, and eight is kamai. Okay. Number five. Five, five is brasso. Number four. Four is kilikile. Number ten. Ten is did did eleven. Eleven is Tiang. Number fifteen. Fifteen is Bokon Bokon. Seventeen. Seventeen is D the li nong pa 
daliri. Okay? Daliri sa paa. Number 16. 16 is paa. 14. 14 is binti. Number 13. 13 is tuhod. 12. 12 is hito, hita. Hita. Number 6. 6 is siko. Number 2. Li-ig. Li-ig. Say li-ig. Li-ig. Yeah. Okay, good job. Ang galing naman, mahusay, mahusay. So, sino naman ang susunod na magre-recite ng parte ng katawan? Okay, Ati Fiona, umpisa natin dito sa 17. Dariri ng paa. Nakasan ang salita? Dariri ng paa. 16? Paa. 14? 15. 13, 12, 6, 2, 1, 17, 15, 10, 11, 10, 9, I mean four. Kili kili. Five. BC. Eight. Kamai. And then nine. Dariri. Kali. Seven. Braso. Three. Kalikat. Okay, good job. Okay, who's next? Is there any question? Okay, who else who wants to volunteer? Okay, Ati Jasmine. Okay, let's start from number three. Balikat. Ate, could you please make it louder? I can hear you. Balikat. Is something wrong with your uh, speaker? I can't hear you. Um. Um. Would you please check, check your... Uh, a uh, headphone or speaker? Balikat. Okay. Seven. Oh, it works. Okay. Um, braso. Nine. Daliri. Eight. Kamai. Five. Pisig. Four. Kili kili. And. Dib dib dib. Eleven. Chan. 15. Bukok, bukok. 17. Liri ng paa. Eh, 16. Paa. 14. Binte, binte. 13. Tuhod. 12. Hita. 6. Siko. 2. Leeg. 1. Ulo. Okay. And number three, you already said number three, right? Yes. Okay. Who else? Where is Ariel? Okay, Ariel, go read. Which, what's number one? Number one. Ulo. Ariel, I can't hear you. Ulo. Two. He is. Six. Siko. Twelve. Hita. Thirteen. Uhod. Fourteen. Binti. Sixteen. Paa. Seventeen. Tiliri ng paa. Fifteen. Bukong bukong. Seven. Yan. Ten. Tibib. Four. Kili-kili. 
Five. Bisig. Eight. Gamay. Nine. Siliri. Seven. Braso. And three. Balika. Okay. Next, ito. What is number three? Ayos, upo, 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 para hindi ka mahirapan magbasa. Upo lang, huwag malikit masyado. Ano number three? I can't hear you. He said he doesn't know. Number three. Number three. Ano to? What is this? Number three, balikat. I can't hear you. What happened? You can't. I can't hear you. Uh, I don't know that one. Okay, say balikat. Balikat. This one is. What is number seven? I don't know. Isn't it like a bisig? Say bisig. Bisig. Number nine. I what? don't know none of them. Why you didn't study? Okay, I want you to uh, review that, okay? I want you to review all these parts of the body. Okay, uh, who else? Ati Jackie. You have to review. Ariel, could you please help Ito? Okay, Ati uh, Jacqueline. Number three. Uh, we got seven. How about number nine? Uh, They're pointing this one. Uh, the lyric. Uh, the lyric. Okay, how about number eight? Uh, What do you call this in Tagalog? In, in English, hand. What is in Tagalog? Halik. Halik. These are the fingers. We call it the liri. But the whole thing, what do you call this? Uh, uh, I don't kamai. know. Say it. Kamai. Uh, kamai. Okay. Kamai. Okay, let's let's go back right here so that you can you can uh, you can see it right here. Okay, okay. Look, balikat is your shoulder. Brazo is a part of your hand. I mean, BC. Okay, so BC is the whole thing. Okay, from from your wrist all the way down to your kilikili, we call that BC. And then from your wrist all the way down to your elbow, we call that brazo. Okay, brazo. It's a part of your basic. The lire is your fingers. Kamai is your hands. Okay, kilikili is your armpit. Dib dib is your chest. Ian is your tummy. Bukong bukong is your uncle. The lire ng paa are your tone, uh, toes. Paa is your foot. Binti is your uh, calves. Tuhod is your knee. Hita is your tie. Siko is your elbow. Leeg is your neck. Ulo is your head. Okay? Balikat is your shoulder. So remember those guys, okay? That's a very basic thing that you have to memorize. Okay?
because that's you. That's a part of your body. Okay? It's very important. Okay? Because people might ask you, okay, ilang daliri meron ka? So you might not know if you don't know what is the translation of fingers. Okay? Ilang daliri meron tayo? Ilan? Ilang daliri meron tayo? In Tagalog, anong sagot? Anong sagot, Dalton? Ilang daliri meron tayo? Ha? Sagot, ilang daliri meron tayo? Sagot, sino nakakaalam? Okay. Okay, Ate Fiona, ilang daliri meron tayo? In total? Or yeah, ilang on... daliri. Ilang daliri meron tayo? Tampo. Tampo. Okay, ilang kamay meron tayo? Ilan? Okay, Dalton, ilan? Ilang kamay meron tayo? Pito. Kamay. Ilan kamay? Oh, dalawa. Dalawa. Okay. How about ang paa? Ilang paa meron tayo? Ariel? Dalawa. Dalawa. Eh, ilang ano naman? Daliri ng paa meron tayo? Ilang daliri meron tayo sa paa, Ate Jasmine? Ate Jasmine, ilang daliri meron tayo sa paa? Mga daliri sa paa, ilan? Ilang? Uh, Di ba? Eh, sampu tayong daliri sa kamay. Sa paa, ilang daliri ng paa meron tayo? How many toes do we have? Oh, ten. In Tagalog, ilan? Sampo. Sampo. Okay. Ilang braso meron tayo? Ilan? Ati uh, Jackie, ilang braso meron tayo? Braso. Ilan? Braso. Okay? Ilang braso? Ilang braso tayo? Ilang ganito meron tayo? Ha? Huh? Sagot? Meron tayong ilang braso? O, oh, ito. Ilang braso meron tayo? Ilang braso meron tayo? How many? Two. Okay. So, in Tagalog? Dalawa. Dalawa. Okay. Ilang siko meron tayo? Ilang siko? Okay, Ati Fiona, ilang siko meron tayo? Dalawa. Ang bukong-bukong? Ilang bukong-bukong meron tayo? Dalawa. Dalawa lang? Ilang bukong-bukong meron tayo? Okay, Dalton, ilang bukong-bukong meron tayo? Ilang lahat ang bukong-bukong? Apat. Apat. Tama. Apat. Kasi dalawa sa kanan, dalawa rin sa kaliwa. Okay? Yan ang bukong-bukong. Kaya tinawag na bukong because there's a hump in it. Right? You see that? Like, like a hump like this? So there's bukong. Okay? There are two. One on the front, one on the back. So that's the reason I got four. Okay? So there's so many things that you have to learn in the parts of our body. What have you noticed, guys? When you're looking at your uh, your body, what can you give me one good uh, observation that you notice in our parts of our body? Anybody? Anybody? Good observation about parts of your body? Yes, Ati Jasmine. The, yes. Oh, um. Well, all of them all have accents. Okay. In some of the letters. Yeah. So, can you explain that, Ate, sa iba? Parang, para maintindihan lalo? 
Uh, can you rephrase that in English, please? Oh. <laughs> that, was a, that was a lot. I'm sorry. Uh, could you explain that to our to other students, what you meant about uh, accesses or accent? Well, from how I've been using them is to help on which um, syllable that you have to stress. Uh, like how yeah. you don't, like on 15, you don't say bukong bukong. You say bukong bukong. Yeah, bukong bukong. Yeah, so, bukong, something bukong. Like that. so it helps with the intonation. Yeah, that is true. If you say it, uh, call this in a different intonation or accent, the meaning change. And that is the, uh, call this another thing that we have to be aware of when we're talking or when we're reading. That's the reason why it's okay to read in a syllabic way because I can understand what you're talking about. But the moment you use that or speaking or communicating with other people, the Filipinos, they might get your meaning differently. And that's the reason why you have to start listening, okay? Be a good listener when you're hearing that words because sometimes it requires to pronounce it differently. The accent is differently. The stress of the word or syllables when you use it differently. Okay, like for example, baba, meaning that's your chin. Baba, meaning you're going down. Okay, so that's another thing. And then when you say baba, okay, so it just, the, the person that might hear that, what do you mean? Are you going down or you're talking about your chin? So that's another thing that we have to learn. Okay, but for the meantime, while we're studying Tagalog, all I want you to do is just to read it in Tagalog. And then somewhere along the way, you will understand what you're reading because we're doing some translation. Okay? Don't be get overwhelmed. Okay, let's proceed now to our uh, Bahaghari. Remember, we discussed number one and number two last time. Now we're going to read number four. Okay, number four. Okay. Who wants to volunteer to read number four? Anybody wants to read? Okay, Ati Fiona, start reading number four. Have you been able to see it, guys? Let me uh, make it bigger. Ayan, you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, number four, start reading. Na uunan sa itaas ang kula. Kata api. Hold on. Ka. Ta. Kata bi nito ang kulay na rangkita na riyang ang masik lang. Kulay ilaw at sa ilamin nito. Ang kulay indigo at lilay lila. lila ang na, nasa ibaba sari sarin kulay na nakakamagha. Okay, good. Okay, next. Dalton, read number four. Na u u na sa ita al ang pa pa pulu ka la ka ta bini to ang ka la kulay na rang hai si ti Ta, I mean, ka na ri yang ang ma sig lang ku lai di la at so sa ilang lim nito ang kulay indigo at li la 
安那沙伊巴巴，沙瑞沙瑞卡莱那。莱，塞库。库莱那那卡卡曼哈。Good job. Okay, next, Ito, read. Number four. Na u u nai. Na. Na si. This one. Sa ita as ang pula ta tabig na ko ay kuni biko tu. Ang kulay na rahayta na riya ang masilang kuladila at sa ilaw lim nito ang kulay Indigo at lila ang nasa ababa iba ba sara sa ring sa ring kulay na na kakamahay ha ha okay good job next Ati Jasmine yes na uuna sa itaas ang pula katabi nito ang kulay narangihita narihayan ang masiglang kulay dilaw at sa ilang minito, ang kulay indigo at lila ang nasa ibaba. Sarisaring yeah, sari kulay na, na ka kamangha. Okay, good job. Next, Ate Ariel. Read it. Na uuna sa ita at ang pula ka sabi nito ang kulay ng rang kita na rinang ang masig ng kulay bilaw at sa liila nito ang kulay indigo at lila ang nasa ibaba Sari sariya, sari sari. Again, again. Sa sa li sari. Kulay na nakakamang ha. Okay, good job. Okay, next, Ati Jacqueline. Okay. Na uuna sa ita asang asang pula. Katapi ni nito ang kulay ng rangkita. Dari yan ang masigman kulay dila. At sa ila na nito ang kulay indigo at lila ang nasa ipaba. Sari sa rin kulay na na ka Okay, good job. Okay, good job. Okay, remember I, I gave you this uh, homework, okay? So again, some of you still uh, kind of like uh, reading it, you know, straight. Some of you still not familiar with the words that you're reading. But again, it's, it's normal when you're reading this kind of like four letter words, okay? Three letter words to struggle. And then another one is when there is an NGA or NGE or NGI, 
those three letter uh, letter words uh, three letters words is hard for you to to read it but it's again it's a practice okay that is the common mistake that I'm not, you know hearing but it's okay you're learning okay so basically what they're talking about here, the different uh, colors in a rainbow, okay? What do you see the, at the end of the rainbow? Of course, they're saying that there's a, you know, there's a lucky charm at the end of the rainbow. It could be a gold or whatsoever. But you know the story of the rainbow, right? So it's similar to what we have in Tagalog. Okay, so basically they just want you to identify the different colors in the arch of the rainbow. So that is the explanation on this story okay now let's proceed dito remember this i told you to study this right okay i okay so we all uh, set and complete right here okay hi jr okay Remember, I told you to study this as well because I'm going to give you a recitation on this one. Did you study, JR? On this one? Sa mga pagbati, pag-usap. Okay, let's start the number one. Okay, Ati Fiona, start. Ati Fiona. Read number one all the way down through number three. I have a question after another of the questions. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, read number one all the way down through number three, okay? When you read it, make sure you answer it as well. That's a good. Okay, number one, read. Ano ang panalang mo? Pangalan. Pangalan. Again. Ano ang panalang mo? Again, pa-nga-nga-lan. Okay? Nga-lan. So that is the part that you're kind of like, uh, all of you, nga, say nga. If you see these three letter words, nga nge ni mo ngu. So that is the part that's hard for you to pronounce it correctly. Okay, start again. Ano ang panalang mo? Pagod. Uh, ako po ay si Fiona Lopez-Dessens. Okay. Two. Ilang taon gulang ka na. Ako po ay sagot. Ako po ay labing dalawa taong gulang na. Okay. Number three. Saan ka nakitira? Sagot. Ako po ay nakitira uh, 1515 West 31st Street, Long Beach. Okay, good. Next, JR. Um, ano ang mo? Ako po ay si Jen Robert. Ilang taon gulang ka na. Ako po ay sampu taon Kulang na. Sa a saan ka na katira? Ako ako po ay na katira sa An Anaheim. Okay, good job. Who else is next? Okay, Dalton, number one. I know um part. Na lam mo. Ako po ay si Dalton. Sa Number two. Ilang taong galang ka na. Okay, Ako hold on. Hold on. Gu not ga. Gulang. Always remember this when you're reading Tagalog, not in English uh, pronunciation. Gulang. Okay, let's start number two again. Ilang taon gulang ka na. 
a guapo ai pito ta on gula lana hey Saan ka na ka tira akwa o ay na ka tira sa 2753 East Madison Street. Okay, good job. Okay, good job. Okay, ito. Basa number one. Ano ay... Ang ang panag lang nga 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 dan nga mo ako po ay si ito. Okay, number two. Alang taon. Na hold on. E. Ilang taon gulang ka na? Uh, I am nine years old. No, no, no. You read. You read ito. You read in Tagalog. Oh. Uh, ako po ko. ay... Hold it, hold it, hold on. Ako, not ka. Ako ako po ay... Uh, Tagalog. What is the Tagalog for nine? I don't know. It's not, not on the paper. Siyam. Siyam. Taon gulang na. Okay. Number three. Siyam ka. Saan. Saan ka na katirang. Ako po ay nakat tirang sa fifteen oh sabihin mo na lang sa Long Beach Long Beach sa Long Beach Long Beach okay good how about do you have a question Dalton no Okay. Next, Ate Jasmine. Ano ang pangalan mo? Ako po ay si Ate Jasmine. Ilang taon gulang ka na? Ako po ay labing apat taon gulang na. Saan ka nakatira? Ako po ay nakatira sa Norwalk. Okay. Mahusay. Ate Jacqueline. Ano ang pag nga pa mo? Ako po ay si Jackie. Ilang taon ko lang ka na. Ako po ay isang labing tatlo. Labing, labing tatlo. Taon. Taon ko lang na. Saan ka na katira? Ako po ay naka, nakatira sa Narwak. Okay, good job. Ay, Ate Ariel. Ano ang pangalan mo? Ako po ay si Ariel. Ilang taon gulang ka na? Ako po ay labing isa taon gulang na. Saan nakatira? Ulit. Ulit. Saan ka nakatira? I can't see it. Can you scroll down? Ako po ay nakatira sa 1515 West 31st Street, Long Beach, California. Okay, mauhusay. Okay, ngayon. Dito naman. Okay. Anuhin natin to ha? Kailangan natin itong tapusin dahil ito yung mga words na ma-encounter nyo at dapat nyo ma-memoria kasi tatanungin to ng mga tao sa inyo. They're gonna ask you these questions. Okay? There's no other way that you're gonna escape these questions. 
because these are the common questions or words that you usually hear from Filipinos or from your friends or even your relatives, okay? That they prefer to speak in Tagalog, okay? I'm going to read first and then you're going to uh, uh, listen, okay? Ikaw ba ay nag-aaral? Opo, ako po ay nag-aaral sa Poly. Ilan kayong magkakapatid? Kami po ay sampung magkakapatid. Pang ilan ka sa inyong magkakapatid? Ako po ay pang-anim sa aming magkakapatid. You get that? This one is the order. Okay, the order. Are you the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, or you're the, the, the bunso or the panganay? Okay? Is that clear? Okay, let's start again. Who wants to start? Okay, Dalton, start, number four. <laughs> Apo, apo, po, ay, nang, a, a, real, sa, John Muir. Okay, number five. Ilang kayong magka, ka, pa, tood. Kami po, ay, apa, mag, ka, ka, pa, tood. Okay. Number six. Pa hang ilang ka sa inyong ma ka ka patid. Ako po ay pang dalawa. Okay. Sa amin ma ka ka patid. Okay, good job. Who else? Who wants to volunteer? Ate Jasmine. Ikaw ba ay nag-aaral? Opo, ako po ay nag-aaral sa St. Joseph. Ilan kayong makakapatid? Kami po ay tatlo makakapatid. Kakapatid. Pang ilang ka na inyong makakapatid? Ulit natin. Ulit number six. Yeah. Pang ilan ka sa inyong Maka kapatid, ako po ay pagdalawa sa aming maka kapatid. Okay. Okay. Yes, Dalton. Question. Can I use the bathroom? Okay, go ahead. Okay, Ati Fiona. Okay. Okay, I didn't. Hold on. Uh, where is a? Uh, uh, yes, Jr. What do you? What's your question? Yes, JR. I can hear you. I just wanted to volunteer for the thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay, go ahead. And then after that, if you wanna. Okay, go ahead. Ikaw pa ay nag-aaral? Opo, ako po ay nag-aaral sa Acacia. Okay. Ilan kayong magkapatid? Kami po ay... Tatlo magkakapatid. Pag ilan ka sa inyong makapatid. Wait. Pang ilan. Um, ako po. Ako po ay pang tatlo sa aming kapatid. Okay. Next. Ati Fiona. Are you there, Fiona? I'm here. Okay, read. Ikaw pa ay nag-aaral? Opo, ako po ay nag-aaral sa Stanford Middle School. Okay. Lang kayo magkakapati. Oh, kami po ay tatlo magkakapati. Okay. 
I can't see number six. You can see number six? Okay, yeah. sorry. Pag ilang ka sa inyong magkakapatid, ako po ay pang isa sa aming magkakapatid. Or you can use panganay. Panganay? Nanay? Panganay. Panganay. Okay. okay. Or you can use una. Okay? Pang una. Okay? Sa aming magkakapatid. Pang una. Okay? That's the correct uh, term to use. Okay. Who else? Who wants to volunteer to read? Okay, Ariel. Go ahead. Ikaw ba ang nag-aaral? Opo, ako po, po ay nag-aaral sa um, Stanford, Meloso. Okay, number five. Ilang ka yung magkakapatid? Kami po ay tatlo magkakapatid. Okay, six. Pang ilang ka sa inyong mag kakapatid. I ako po ay panganay pangalawa pangalawa sa amin magkakapatid. Okay, next. Ito. Ikaw ba ay nag-aaral Opo, ako po ay nag-aaral sa Presque Elementary. Ilan kayong magkakapatid? Kakapatid. Magkakapatid. Ulit. Magkakapatid. Good. Kami po ay uh, tatlo magkakapatid. Pang ilan ka sa inyong magkakapatid? Ako po ay pang tatlo, tatlo sa amang Amin. Sa amin, magkakapatid. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, let's proceed here. Okay? So, I'm going to read first, and then after that, I'm going to pick maybe two or three only so that we can move on to the next question. Ano ang pangalan ng tatay mo? Ang pangalan ng tatay ko ay si Romeo. Ano ang pangalan ng nanay mo? Ang pangalan ng nanay ko ay si Anna Fe. Saan paaralan ka nag-aaral? Ako po ay nag-aaral sa Poly High School. Pang ilang baitang ka na sa kasalukuyan? Ako po ay nasa unang uh, baitang. Okay? Una, pangalawa, pangatlo. Okay? Or pang sampung baitang. O pang walong baitang. Okay, remember that. Baitang, grade level. You can use una, means one, or una, pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat, panglima. Okay, or I will gu guide you on number, number 10. Okay? Sino unang gusto magbasa? I have a question. Yes, Ate Jackie. So from 7 to 10, which ones are they in English? Oh, okay, good. Ano ang pangalan ng tatay mo? It means, what is your dad's name? Okay, my dad's name is Jaime. Number eight, what is your mom's name? My mom's name is Glenda. Number nine, uh, saan paaran? Where do you go to school? I go to such and such school. And then, 
what grade level are you in now? I'm on eight grades. Okay. So let's start with Ati Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, go ahead, number seven. Ano ang panyalan ng tatay mo? Ang panyalan ng tatay ko ay si Jaime. Hey, good. Ano ang panyalan ng nanay mo? Ang panyalan ng... Pangalan. Pangalan. Pangalan ng nanay ko ay si Glenda. Saan pa... Saan pa aralan ka na nag-aaral? Ako ay nag-aaral sa St. Minus. Pangimang pa-itang ka na sa kasa lukuyan. Ako po as nasa... I, I, this one is I. Ako po ay... Ako po ay nasa... Eighth group. Eighth. Ikawalo. Ikawalo. Ikawalo paitan. Okay. Okay. Any others? Okay, go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dalton. You want to read? Go. Uh, I didn't want to read. Go read. You know, number seven, you know how? I know. I know. I long I know. I Tai. 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 Okay, not Tai. Ta, tai ko ay si Javon. Okay, number eight. Ano ang ta na lang na 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 mo Imelda? Ang, okay, basahin mo na ang sagot dito. Ang? Ang pa nang lang Nang na nai ko ay si Imelda. Okay, this part right here, this is the part that we're all kind of like struggling to read. Nga. Okay, pang nga. In this one, the highlighted nga. Okay, nga. The three letter words. Okay, okay, number nine. Saan pa a? Ra lang ka nang a a ra a a ay nang a a real sa John Muir. Okay, number ten. Pang ilang ba itang kana sa ka sa u u yung Aqua po as na sa ika la wang ba i tang. Okay, good job. Okay, anybody? Okay, JR, go ahead. Ano ang pananglan ng tatay mo? Ang pananglan Nagtatay ko ay si Albert. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is the part that we're kind of like all struggling. Okay, can you repeat this one? This, ang, this, uh, an, ang? Ang, nga, la, pa, pa, nang, lan, nang, tatay ko ay si Albert. Okay, ano, good job. Ang, Pa nang lan nang nanay mo ang pa nang lan nga say it again nga 
na lan nag nanay ko ay si Rosel. Saan pa aral ka nag aaral? Ako ay nag aaral sa Acacia. Pag ilang ba bay tang kana sa ka lukayan. Ulit ka sa Pangilang ba itang kana sa ka sa luluyan. Ako po ay nasa Wait. What grade are you in? Oh, um, please say Panglima. 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 Baitan. Say it. Panglima. Panglima. Baitan. Okay. Good job. Okay, let's move on to the second, uh, the, the other questions right here. Okay, this one. Okay, I'm going to read first. Okay, ano ang gus, gus tumong matu tunan pag kat tapos ng kolehiyo meaning what do you want to uh, uh, to take when you go to college okay or uh, it's supposed to be high school okay ano ang gusto mong matutunan sa kolehiyo okay sa kolehiyo sa kolehiyo meaning what do you want to study in college? Okay, it's okay to create something. Okay, I'm sure you don't have any uh, uh, anything in your mind yet. Okay, but this is only a question. Ano ang gusto ang gusto kong pag-aral lan? Okay, aral lan. I tung call sa and then you're going to tell me what do you want to study in college, okay? And then number twelve, sa an muba gustong mag aral ng kolehiyo. Where do you want to go to college? You're going to tell me the name of the school, okay? Gusto kong mag aral sa the name of the school. Para sa kolehiyo, meaning to the university or college. You're going to state the college right here. And number 13, ano ang isang mabuting pangaral na natutunan mo sa iyong mga mag Ulang. Meaning, what are the good values you've learned from your parents? Number 13. Ang natutunan kong mabuting pangaral ay ang, and then you're going to state, being nice to other people or being kind, be respectful. Uh, what else? Be faithful. Uh, be prayful. Those are good values. So that is the last question. Okay. Is there any volunteer for the first question? Number uh, number eleven. Okay. Go out there, yell. Read number eleven. Ano ang gusto mong matutunan sa ko? Lehio. Ang gusto kong pag-aralan ay tungkol sa USC. Meaning what kind of course or degree 
that you want. Do you want to be a nurse? Do you want to be a veterinarian? Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a doctor? So that is the first question. Ulit, number sagot. Ang gusto ko pang aralan ang tungko sa doctor field. Gusto ko sa, okay. Medicine, okay, medicine. Okay, next, number 12. Saan mo ba gusto mag-aral ng kolehiyo? Gusto kong mag-aral sa USC para sa kolehiyo. Okay, 13. Ano ang isang mabuti pag nangaral na natutunan mo sa iyong mga magulang? Ang natutunan kong mabuti pag nangarala ang ay ang I can't see the rest um confident tiwala sa sarili tiwala okay tiwala sa sarili confidence okay okay who else Dalton okay go ahead Dalton Are you able to see number 11? Okay, read. Yes. Ano ang gusto mong matutunan sa kolehiyo? Pakasa. This one. Ang. Ang. Go ahead. This one? No, no, right here. Ang. She is showing to you. Gusto? Ang gusto to kong pag-aralin lang lang ay tungko yo. Tungko. Tungko. Sa What course do you want to study? Taksa. Taksa ng agham. Agham. Ah, mahusay. Okay, number 12. Saan? Ano? Saan ma ba oh. bagustong mag-aral ng kolehiyo? Gusto kong ma-aral sa I think she's here already. California State University, Long Beach. Okay. Para? Pa pa para sa koleyo. Okay, good. Continue. An ano ang isang mabuting Pag nang na What is na, this? Na la na na tu tu nang ma sa yong ma 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 na na ma na ma ka lang an na di na tu tu nang kong ma bu Tin pa na rang an ay ang u wan so ako nang pa ba lang sa na ka ka te a na da hu what mark sa si nu nu a na na 
we not. Okay. Wow. Over the top. That's good. Okay. Good job. Okay. Who else? Sino pang gusto magbasa? That's good, Dalton. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Wala nang gusto pa mag-volunteer? Nahiya na? <laughs> okay. Let's move on down right here. Okay? This is the last one right here. Ma, okay. Ma, raming, salamat sa pagsagot sa aking mga katanungan. Walang ano man po. Paalam at hanggang sa muli. Okay? Tayo Okay, gayon din po, okay? Ga yon Ga yon din po sa inyo, okay? So meaning, thank you so much for answering my questions and then your answer should be here. Walang anuman po meaning you're welcome, okay? And then, paalam at maganda ma hanggang sa muli. Uh, goodbye and see you soon. Uh, the same thing with you. Same to you. That is the answer's meaning here. Okay? Okay. Sino gusto mag-volunteer? So mag magbasa number 14. Okay, Ati Fiona, go ahead. Number 14. Maraming salamat sa pagkat pasagot sa aking magkatanungan. And then? Walang ano man po. Okay. What do we say at the end? No, you don't have to. You don't have to answer. That is already answered right there. Okay. Number uh, Okay. As number 15. Paalam at hangga sa muli. Hanggang. Hanggang sa muli. And then? Sagot kayon din po sa inyo. Ulit. Ga? Kayon din nyo po sa inyo. Okay, good. Okay, who, who's the next? Ati Jasmine, could you please read number 14 and 15? Yes. Maraming salamat sa pagsagot sa aking magkatanungan. Walang ano man po. Paalam at, ah, paalam at hanggang sa muli. Gayon din po sa inyo. Okay, good job. Who else? Okay, ito, read. 14. Ito, you have to read. Yeah, it's a uh, perfect. Uh, ma ra min salamat sa pag sa kot sa akin mag mag mga mga kating ka walang ka ulit ka ka Da no, 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 Ka yon de po sa in yo. Okay, good. Okay, who else? Anyone? Where are the others? Okay. Okay, JR, you want to read? Yeah. Okay, number 14. 
Maraming salamat sa pagsagot sa aking mga katanungan. Walang ano man po. Paal, paalam at hanggang sa muli. Gayun di po sa inyo. Okay, good job. Okay, who else? That's all? Okay. Okay, Dalton. Yes. Question? Yes, Dalton. I wanted to um do the... Yeah, go ahead. Ma ra min sa la ma sa pag sa po sa akin ma mga mana ka ta nub ngan agang ngan 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 yeah okay ga in o wa dia walang walang ang mopo ginoon ginion romeo romeo okay paalam paalam a hong gan sa uli muli kai kai yang di din po sa sa inyo ginoon ginoon Romeo that's his name okay good job okay mahuhusay kayo na magbasa okay so ayan na I I already noticed that you already know how to read but practice makes it smoothly and perfect on how you phrasing it okay now you know how to read it by syllables. Now, when you're reading it, now try to read it straight and fast as you can so that you can start using it by phrase. You can read by phrase, okay? So that is the, uh, call this the importance of reading, 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 okay? That sounds like a very syllabic uh, words when you're reading. I know that is the basic, uh, the basis for reading in a syllable way, but eventually when you're using and practicing a lot, you'll be able to read it uh, and say it correctly, okay? Again, as I've mentioned before, when you're, uh, uh, it depends on how you stress it out or you use accent every time you say that word. It always have a different meaning. As my uh, example before, baba meanings going down, baba, meaning is your chin. Always remember that. It's something to do how you stress the word. And every time you say it in a different tone, there's always a different meaning. Okay? So that is the uh, uh, Tagalog uh, language all about. Okay? So now let's proceed right here. These are the thing that, you know, in advance, okay? advanced Tagalog but I'm going to introduce this to you guys you know who knows we might uh, you know extend it but I will still give you uh, like an overview what will be our uh, uh, next topic okay so in English when we're talking about grammar in Tagalog is grammatica or balarila okay gra is this is Spanish grammati Okay, grammatica. In Tagalog, okay, this is what we call ba, la, ri, la. So when we're talking about this one, we're talking about the grammar. Okay, now we're going to study the grammar. Okay, but before we uh, know those, we have to recognize first what is the exact translation of that. Okay, if I ask you Tagalog grammar, meaning that is Balarila, or in Spanish, Gramatica. Okay? So, when we, how about phrase? That is what we call pa, 
ri okay ra la okay that is the meaning of phrase how many of you understand the word phrase okay can you give me an example of a phrase anybody okay phrase is something that going down okay that is an example of a phrase in tagalog parirala meaning bababa bababa okay that is another example of phrase one or two words is uh, another way to express in phrase form okay phrase going down that's a phrase right do you get it right away oh we're going down okay Okay, what is the meaning of noun phrase? Pa, ri, okay, ra, lang, pang, nga, lan. Okay, pa, ri, ra, lang, pang, nga, lan. So that is what we call noun phrase. Remember, the meaning of phrase is pa, ri, ra, la. Okay, and that is that. Okay, that is phrase. But have you noticed, when you're translating English to Tagalog, they reverse it, okay? Look, look at this, noun and then the phrase. And look at the meaning of phrase. The phrase meaning in Tagalog comes first, and then the last is the meaning of noun. So they switch, okay? Always remember that. That is the difference, and sometimes, that's a problem with the Filipino trying to translate from English to Tagalog. They did not adapt the switching. Okay? So that is another thing that you have to practice and think before you translate an English word to Tagalog. You have to switch. Okay? Next, verb phrase. Okay? Again, it's the same thing. The phrase in Tagalog comes first. Pariralang pandiwa. Okay? The verb's meaning is pandiwa. What does a verb mean? An action word. In Tagalog, pandiwa. Okay? Verb means pandiwa. Okay? And then the other thing, adjective phrase or adjectival phrase. So, pa, ri, Ra lang pang uri. Okay? Pari ra lang pang uri. So that is the meaning of adjective phrase. So these are the things that we're going to study in the next level. Okay? In the next level of Tagalog. Because I already know that you know how to read Tagalog. Now we have to identify what are those words in terms of grammar. Okay, so uh, still I'm going to, uh, to uh, give this lesson after we finish this so that you can review this and then we might continue working on this one. I know it's a little bit uh, hard for you to understand it yet, but I'm just telling it to you what will be our next topic that you need to be aware of. Is that clear? Okay, so those are the common in grammars. What are the grammars that you're going to? You need to know your noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, conjunction, clause, uh, uh, adverbs, things like that. We have also translation for that in Tagalog. Okay? Is there any other question? Is there any question? Hello, do you have any question? No. Uh, yes, no question. Okay, so today, okay, I will uh, give you uh, a homework, okay? Your homework is this. Takdang, takdang, aralin. Okay? Uh, let me change this. Uh, takdang, aralin. Okay? You are going to cut out pictures, okay? And 
you are going to translate in Tagalog. Okay? For example, okay, example, okay, uh, ha, okay, ha, cat, what else, bed, uh, what else, dress, okay, so you're going to translate in Tagalog. So what I want you to do is you're going to look a picture in the magazine and then you're going to cut it out and post it in a piece of paper and then you're going to write the name of that in Tagalog. Does it make sense? Yes, question Ariel. Any go to the bathroom. Go ahead. Is there any question? Okay, for your homework next week, I want you to cut out as many, okay? Cut out, okay. Cut out 20 examples, okay? Examples of different, okay, things, object, okay? Things or objects, okay? Translate in Tagalog, okay? Example of that is hat. What is the Tagalog translation of hat? You're going to show me the picture, and then on the bottom of that, you're going to say or name it in Tagalog. Yes, Dalton? Do we have to print it out? Can I print it out? Can I print it out? Okay. So this one, yes, you can print it out. You can go search online, or if you don't have a printer, you can look for a magazine and then cut up, paste that in a paper, and then write the name in Tagalog. Okay? For example, uh, I saw a, uh, a pencil, right? A pencil. So I'm going to paste it in the paper, okay? And then I'm going to write the word that in, in, uh, in Tagalog. Okay, for example, this one, okay? So that you, you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's pretend this is a pencil. Right? So what is the Tagalog word for pencil? So I'm going to put it here. La piece. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. So I want you to look for 20 examples of different things or object. You're going to cut it out. And then you're going to write in Tagalog words. Does it make sense? Hello? And then you're going to explain it to me when Apo. we see each other. Is there any question? Wala po. Wala. Okay. Okay. So, yan na muna ang ating pag-aaralan. Okay? So, yan ang homework nyo for next week. Okay? But tell your parents that I'm going to give the, uh, the announcement on uh, for next week meeting okay we might change the time but don't worry if you're not going to make it because still we're going to record it and then uh, uh, the lesson will be posted on the group chat okay may mga katanungan ba kayo dyan? may mga tanong ba may tanong Okay, kung wala, kung wala ng tanong, we'll see you next week and maraming salamat ha sa inyong pag, ano, pagpasok ngayon sa ating Zoom class. Okay, is there any question? Wala na? Okay, paalam na sa inyong lahat. Paalam. Paalam, maraming salamat. Paalam. 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 Bye. 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 Why are you in the meeting still? Okay, bye-bye.